Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we are going to be playing around with um, doing some shading using watercolour pencils. So I'm starting off in a use it up page on my journal. Now the background here had um, Stibula or pencil on it. So even though I'd done this months and months ago at a teaching camp, you can see it's still reacting and I'm sort of getting this muddy colour in the background which I don't mind, but just so you're aware, that's why these colors are sort of getting those more gray tones through it because I'm activating that pencil as I'm going through it. To create a little bit of contrast and to take your eye away from it, I'm going over with another color with the pink just to kind of hide it. I don't mind that it's in the background, um, but I do want to sort of blend it in a little bit. So I've done that by adding a contrasting color over the top of those blues and now I'm going in with some brighter colors and doing some mic making over the top. I'm doing that in two ways. One, just using a straight paint and paintbrush over the top and now by using a stencil. Now obviously if you didn't have a stencil you could use paint pens, you could continue using different shaped paint brushes to do this mic making. These mics are really really simple, this one's just lines through the stencil um, and again lines um, in a different way that you could just draw with a paint pen if you wanted to. Um, this is a Natalie May stencil and I'll leave the links in the description box below. There are lots and lots of stencils if you don't like drawing or making marks yourself. There are lots of stencils on the market similar to this that have got a few different patterns on one stencil that you can use which are really really handy. Um, so obviously if you follow my channel for a while you know I love doing mic making myself but in cases like this where I don't want to think about it I just pull out a stencil um, and I love those stencils because I can do a few different marks with one stencil. So I'm using this face as a focal point on my page from Scrap FX, but I'm doing something slightly different for this. I wanted the focus to be on the face and because I've got such a bright background, I wanted to make sure I had a pretty neutral base to do this. So I'm actually going in and I used a white pencil to sort of draw roughly where my face was going to glue over and I've painted that out using gesso and that will give when I glue my um, collage piece over the top, a more um, opaque background. So usually when you glue collage pieces onto a bright background like I had there, you would see that coming through. You can still see it a little bit by having that gesso in the background, it sort of neutralized that somewhat. I'm going to neutralize it further by putting some color in the background. So I'm starting off with a skin tone. This is the apricot. And then I will go in and add layers to this with some, I think that's a rougey color, just some gentle color in the background to get some um, detail on this page or some shading on this page. Now, the reason I'm doing this is I'm a little bit more confident with using paint than I am with using pencils. I kind of know, because I've practiced a bit, where sort of the lights and darks will go using paint. Obviously, using any color medium, it's going to follow the same um, pattern or placing on on the place so if I was using color pencil where I'm putting a dark with paint is going to be the same with color pencil um, but to start this off I'm more confident using paints the reason I'm using watercolor pencils on this and doing some shading with watercolor pencils is I really love the texture and the um, line work that you get with pencil. So by using paint it's a very soft, a very blended um, way of ap um, applying colour. By using colour pencil <coughs> or crayons or any dry medium over the top you're going to get a lot more texture with it. 
So that's why I use it slightly differently. So you can see by using my paint, I've got a very sort of 2D flat image. So now I'm going in with lots of different colors, still using sort of those same shades. So for my dikes, I'm tending to use blues and purples or um, dark purpley reds. And then I will go into sort of those, um, I think it's wild honey. I don't know. They're the Tim Holtz Distress Pencils, so they've got beautiful names, but there are a whole range of different names. So I'm going in with lots of different colours to add to what I've got there. So I'm using, obviously, white as my brightest highlight. I'm using those blues as a darker highlight on my page, and I'm using those mid-tones to sort of blend it all together. For my eyes, however, um, I am going in with paint pen for two reasons. One, because it's a um, more opaque color, and two, particularly with the white, it's, um, it, it's opaque, but it's also got a really fine nib to it. So I can get really close to the blacks on this page um, by using that paint pen and knowing that it's going to be opaque. The white pencil in this set you saw me use it before is fantastic and it is actually quite opaque but and I know you can sharpen these nibs it's never going to be quite as sharp as that really fine paint pen for me um, so that's the reason why I've gone back to that I have for my black used my Stabilo all pencil and again it sort of goes back to that sharpness I know you can sharpen those distress pencils but for me, they, I, kind of, I still kind of think of them as crayons. They have more pencil properties, um, but I kind of think of them as crayons. So I'm a bit loath to sharpen them to such a point that I would do with a pencil, um, even though I know you can do that. So this is me still getting my head around how it all works and what I can do with them. Um, and I would suggest if you do have a set of them, have a look at um, the Tim Holtz video going through them because he shows you all the different ways and all the different people. And there are people out there who are fantastic with using um, watercolor pencils and taking them to the nth degree. This is me using them sort of in a mixed media way, knowing that paint is more my go-to medium than pencil. So. I'm using them over the top of what I'm comfortable with to create texture and depth and to um, create, I suppose, line work over the top as well. So a lot of the ways I use it, and you'll sort of see this in the close-up, it's more scribbly than smooth pencil. With my um, quote on this page you'll notice I actually drew it out with Stabilo all pencil first which again is quite unusual for me because usually I go straight in with my um, paint pens now the reason I did it with Stabilo all pencil first was because I wanted to do this um, cursive writing and cursive writing for me is still something that I am learning to do um, I really liked how it looked on this page um, but I'm glad that I did that first coat with my Stabilo All Pencil just to practice it. The reason I chose the Stabilo All Pencil was because it is water um, reactive. So my idea was that I could wipe it away afterwards and you saw me start to do that. But because I, even though I heat set my paint, it still wasn't 100% dry, so it's actually wiping away some of my paint. Now that would have worked if I'd done it the day later, but you know me, I'm not very patient, um, so I went straight in with it. So I just decided to leave the Stabilo All Pencil there underneath. You can see it was mostly covered with the paint pen anyway, so it really didn't come to it. So here in the close-up, you can see that texture, that pencil has laid over the paint that I originally put on it. Um, and I've been really glad that I was able to use that beautiful drawing from the collage paper to help draw that image on the page in the first place. So I certainly wouldn't have been able to do something 
as delicate as that if I try to draw it myself. So having those tools to help support you is really, really handy. So I hope this has helped you on your journey um, if you're beginning with some of these media. And until next time, bye for now.